Okay, so in this course, we'll study the difference between three different broadcasting algorithms. One is best effort broadcast, the second one is regular reliable broadcast, and the third one is uniform reliable broadcast. These three abstractions look very similar, but they are indeed very different, and they actually provide very different guarantees to the application. I will explain what those differences are, and I will explain in which case we want to use which kind of broadcasting algorithm. Before explaining the difference, let's uh, say one word about the assumptions we are going to make in this lecture. The first assumption is that uh, processes can only fail by crashing. The second assumption is that processes are using perfect communication channels. These channels guarantee that whenever a correct process sends a message to a correct other process, the message will be delivered. In all algorithms, processes can use two methods. The first method, called broadcast, is used by the application running in the process to broadcast messages to other processes in the system. This method takes as parameter the message M to be broadcast. The second method that can be used by a process is the deliver method. This method is actually an up call that is called by the uh, protocol, the broadcasting protocol, when a message is received and needs to be delivered to the application. This method takes two parameters. The first one is the message to be delivered. The second one is the sender of the message. So to explain the difference between these three broadcasting algorithms, I will consider the example of a system comprising four processes, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Best effort broadcast only guarantees that messages sent by correct processes will be delivered by other correct processes. In our case, let us consider that process P1 is correct and broadcasts message M1. This means, provided P1 is correct, that all processes will deliver M1. Best effort broadcast doesn't provide any guarantee when the broadcasting process is faulty. Let's illustrate this considering, for instance, that P2 wants to broadcast a message and that P2 is faulty. To note the fact that P2 is faulty, I just put this cross here. So P2 is broadcasting message M2. What can happen in the system is that, for instance, P2 will deliver M2. P1 might also deliver M2 but P3 and P4 won't deliver M2. This is actually allowed by the specification of the best effort broadcasting abstraction. Let's now consider what would happen with other broadcasting abstractions. So let's study the regular reliable broadcast abstraction. In this abstraction, still using four processes, P1, P2, P3, and P4, what would happen is the following. Message M1 broadcast by P1, which is correct, would still be received by all processes. Now the interesting point is what does regular reliable broadcast guarantee regarding M2? It actually guarantees the following thing. If a message is delivered by a correct process, then it should be delivered by all correct processes. So M2, in our previous example, is delivered by P2, which is faulty, but it is also delivered by P1, which is correct. That means that this message should also be delivered by all other correct processes. So with regular reliable broadcast, we'll need to ensure that P3 and P4 both deliver message M2. Let us now illustrate the difference between regular reliable broadcast and uniform reliable broadcast. Let's again take the following example with four processes, P2 being a faulty process. We've seen that with regular reliable broadcast, messages delivered by a correct process should be delivered by all correct processes. With uniform reliable broadcast, the guarantee is even stronger. The guarantee is the following. A message that is delivered by any process, be it faulty or correct, should be delivered by all correct processes. So this means that with regular reliable broadcast, if process P2 delivers a message M3, then this message doesn't need to be delivered by other processes. That algorithm will still uh, guarantee the regular reliable broadcast uh, properties. This is not the case with uniform reliable broadcast, which states that if a message is delivered by a process, even if this process is faulty, then the message should be delivered by all correct processes. 
So in that case, message M3, which is delivered by process P2, which is faulty, should also be delivered by processes P1, P3, and P4, which are correct. So you see with this picture the difference between uh, regular and uniform reliable broadcast abstractions. So now that we've seen uh, this example, let's summarize the difference. In best effort broadcast protocols, messages broadcast by correct processes should be delivered by correct processes. In regular reliable broadcasts, messages delivered by at least one correct process must be delivered by all correct processes. Finally, in uniform reliable broadcast, messages that are delivered by at least one process must be delivered by all correct processes. So let us now explain when an application will use um, a given broadcasting abstraction. The main difference between best effort broadcasts and the two other abstractions, regular and uniform reliable broadcasts. So let us now explain in which case which application will use which broadcasting primitive. In best effort broadcast algorithms, correct processes are not ensured that they will deliver the same set of messages. This broadcasting abstraction is used by applications that do not need correct messages to be in a consistent state. In contrast, in both regular and uniform labeled broadcasting algorithms, all correct messages will deliver the same set of messages. This means that processes that do not crash are in a consistent state. So now, what is the difference between regular reliable broadcast and uniform reliable broadcast? More precisely, in which case an application will use regular and in which case it will use uniform reliable broadcast. The difference is that in regular reliable broadcast, processes before crashing can deliver messages that won't be delivered by remaining processes, those that are correct. In contrast with uniform reliable broadcast, even processes that fail need to behave correctly before failing, meaning all the messages they delivered will be delivered by correct processes. So you might ask, why would we care about faulty processes? Why is that important that correct processes deliver messages that have been delivered by faulty processes? This is actually important whenever processes can actually perform side effects. Let's, for instance, take the example of an e-commerce application. Let's assume that we have four processes that actually run a database application. And let's assume that updates to the database are uh, broadcast to all databases, the goal being that databases be in a consistent state. Actually, we would need to use total order broadcast, but let's assume that order is not of importance here. With regular reliable broadcast, let's assume that DB1 receives a query from a client. It will send this query using the broadcasting algorithm. And it might be the case that DB1 deliver this query, then subsequently fails, and this query won't be delivered by DB2, DB3, and DB4. If after having delivered this request, DB1 replies to the client, then the state that is given to the client won't be reflected in the state of DB2, DB3, and DB4. In contrast, uniform reliable broadcast guarantees that if DB1 delivers the request from the client, then that request will also be delivered by DB2, DB3, and DB4, even if DB1 is faulty. This means that the reply the client will have got from DB1 will be reflected in the state of DB2, DB3, and DB4. This motivates the use of uniform label broadcast protocols in applications that perform side effects or in applications that handle huge state, in which case, if you need to reboot the process that fails, you want it to be in a consistent state with that of correct processes.